Hi everyone, uh, this is the second video I make about uh, Wanna Kicks by uh, Wannabe. It's a um, sneakers try, try on camera app uh, that I was really excited about. I tried it yesterday and I wanted to try it again today. Now this app uses uh, advanced computer revision algorithms in order to um, uh, recognize uh, your feet and track it in order to position a virtual shoe on top of your leg that actually moves when you move your feet. Now the cool thing about it is as you move the leg, uh, the sneakers move with it. So the experience feels uh, very natural and realistic. Uh, as you can see, uh, the tracking uh, is not far from being perfect and uh, it actually loses tracking uh, from time to time. But again, uh, in general, uh, this type of app allows me to uh, enjoy seeing how uh, different types of shoes uh, look on me and uh, as you can see uh, the tracking works good the glitches in the tracking uh, I mean didn't uh, lead to something that will ru completely ruin the experience because they still were able to rock around with the shoes and see how it looks uh, on my uh, feet and if I turn my leg I can see how it looks from the sides uh, but again as you can see uh, if both legs don't appear inside uh, the view, uh, the tracking can actually get it wrong. But this, I mean, for example, if you just put one leg and it happened to me, uh, it didn't know whether it's the right foot or the left foot, and actually my right, uh, it positioned uh, a left shoe on my right foot, and we're gonna see it a bit later. I find it to be uh, more uh, uh, glitchy when you view it from the side, and uh, if you just uh, show the camera just one, uh, one foot. And soon I'm gonna change the angle and you can actually see how it works when I position uh, the camera uh, in front of me uh, and view it from the side rather than from the top. Uh, just so you know, there are different types of uh, shoes I'm just using here for demonstrating to see uh, and test how the um, uh, image detection works. Uh, here you can see I'm positioning uh, uh, another uh, shoe uh, near the, and it actually thinks that this is my leg, uh, which is not. Uh, sometimes it misses, sometimes it's actually detected it's, uh, it's not my leg and doesn't uh, position the shoe on top of the real shoe. As you can see, uh, the app doesn't put more than two shoes here, so you can't get like, if you have even three legs, uh, you probably don't, uh, you won't uh, see uh, three shoes, uh, only two shoes at the same time. You can actually see that the part that should be masked sometimes is overlaid uh, on top of my leg. Uh, especially when I view it from the side, you can actually see the kind of, kind of a line that just passes through my real leg and shouldn't be there. As you can see here, I'm just putting the shoe uh, on a chair. It tracks it well, I just wanted to see how well it tracks when I move it slowly uh, from side to side. You can still see my foot uh, over there, but overall it positioning um, uh, the shoe uh, well, so it covers my leg. Now, they probably can train the algorithm uh, you know, to be even more accurate over time. Uh, and this is something that can be interesting. Um, you know, if it uses uh, deep learning, it's actually supposed to do it uh, uh, in real time in order to uh, train uh, the machine learning system to recognize my foot and make sure that uh, when I use it um, uh, the second time, uh, you know, future times, it would be more accurate. Now, I don't know which specific algorithm they use, uh, which system, um, maybe TensorFlow, I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, And I'm not an expert in this field, but I am interested in seeing how these types of uh, uh, computer vision uh, algorithms are, are used to uh, in um, product visualizations. And the results, in my opinion, are very impressive. Now, obviously, you can see the benefits of this. Uh, for example, if you want to buy sneakers online, uh, and you see something really nice, for example, I don't know, on eBay, on Amazon, on other uh, e-commerce website, and you want to see how it looks uh, on your leg. Right now, what are your options? Well, there aren't many. I mean, unless you're gonna just uh, take a photo of your shoot and then cut uh, the shoe from the online uh, uh, website and just uh, merge it with uh, in Photoshop. Nobody's gonna do this. Uh, so again, you don't have many options. The only option is to see like a model wearing it or seeing uh, the shoes uh, in 3D from different directions and try to assess, you know, how it's going to look um, on your feet. Now, when you go to the shoe store, what you're going to do is you're going to wear the shoes, test if they feel, uh, you know, feel comfortable and you're going to just look around, maybe in front of a mirror and see if it looks okay, if you like it. You know, maybe in the future, we're going to have something like, you know, a base it has a kind of a haptic uh, feedback that allows you to actually maybe feel and it can simulate comfort, uh, the comfort of a real shoe. Like a device that can actually test an, uh, a certain shoe uh, and see, you know, just press it against the ground and maybe uh, create some sort of an, uh, 
uh, a mathematical uh, representation which can be simulated using hardware. Now here you can see me testing out, I just put the iPad in front of me and that's, I just wanted to check how, how it uh, detects uh, my feet and position the shoe when I'm in front of the camera. As you can see, sometimes it misses uh, things out, uh, sometimes it's positioning it correctly, but again, it was, uh, it was better when uh, I, ho I held the device uh, and point uh, the iPad, the camera, uh, upside down uh, onto my legs. Maybe in this case I should position the camera a bit lower so it can be in, uh, in the middle of the frame, but I think that the algorithm can pick it up no matter where it's located. Now keep in mind that I'm just trying to uh, stress test, uh, you know, in quotations to see how far this uh, algorithm goes, how can it detect my shoes when I'm doing some really, uh, you know, uh, crazy stuff. But actually it's not crazy, right? It's something that, you know, kind of standard, uh, but maybe for this algorithm it was a bit too much. Now this can be improved, for example, if the app was collecting images of uh, people's feet we're using the app and can uh, um, provide a, a deep learning uh, learning algorithm uh, some pictures and then cross feed this information to the positioning of the shoe maybe it can be uh, you know provide a more accurate um, pr uh, presentation of the shoe virtual shoe on the leg in future versions of the app again i'm not an expert in this field but i definitely can see this thing uh, uh, being improved uh, in the near future and let's see maybe it's going to be that's why I'm keeping this uh, installed uh, although I'm not going to buy those sneakers uh, personally but uh, I just want to see uh, what types of updates uh, the company is going re to release and see how it improves the accuracy uh, of the tracking so here you can see I'm just uh, changing back I'm just holding the device uh, uh, top down uh, and then you can see it's much more accurate compared to how it was when I placed it uh, um, down on the floor and pointing it to my legs. So even if my feet is kind of not moving a lot, even static, you can see the, that the algorithm continues to uh, try to match uh, the location of the virtual shoe on my leg and you have those slightly movements as you can see, it's kind of jittery. So even with that, I still was very impressed with this app because I, I see where these things is going and it's just going to be amazing. And I also read um, on the company's official website, they're going to also use it uh, for jewelry and apparel, you know, clothing. So it's going to be really interesting to try those other apps out uh, once they are released. Now, maybe it's going to work better with the iPhone. I don't know. Uh, I don't have an iPhone to test it out, not a compatible iPhone uh, that uh, can run this app. You, can show you, you need an iPhone SE or later in order to uh, uh, for it to work. Now, I'm really excited about this app. That this is the reason I wanted to try it again today. And as you can see, when you combine machine learning and um, uh, augmented reality, you can create some really interesting apps that can really, in this case, can be really beneficial for people who are shopping online. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, there are many cool things coming. Uh, and it's uh, just going to get better and better because technology is going to be improved and you're going to see much more interesting and uh, compelling apps in the near future. So the app is Wannakicks. You can find it on the App Store uh, for iOS and download it now for free. Uh, also, uh, make sure you check out the requirements in order to make sure that this app can run on your iPad or iPhone uh, mobile device. Also, please don't forget to press this subscribe button that you can see uh, in order to get not and press this bell button in order to get notified when I release a new video. There are many cool things coming, so make sure you subscribe and I see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, see you soon. Bye bye.